Well, we're looking at a manky old brown sofa, which must mean it's once again time for me to review some electronic crap. Today we've got the Game Station, which, as you can see, is a quite eye-pleasing rip-off of the original PlayStation 1 design, complete with little controller. Apparently, it's got a folding cover, multiplying modes, realistic sound effect, just the one apparently, angle-adjusting screen, and my favourite feature of all... It has 15 shapes of elements. I hope my favourites Rubidium and Xenon are in there. Anyway, the problem I have at the moment is, as you can see, it's in one of these stupid blister packs that nobody can open. <sighs> Fortunately, with my fantastic knowledge of video games and having played Half-Life 2 far too much, I know how to open anything. <laughs> Oh. Oh, God's sake, doesn't anything from video games work in real life? Oh well, I'll just have to try the Doom method, I suppose. Okay, now we've got the packaging open. Let's see what works inside. Ah, there we go. Sure enough. A single sheet of toilet paper with the instructions on. Let's have a look. Oop, many games are included. We have Tank Fight, Car Racing, Bite the Dust, which apparently is actually steak, Space Invaders, Frogalog, hmm, Hammer Hit, Block Shooting, Block Match, Super Brick Game. That's the Tetris one, I reckon. Notice how a lot of the games have block in the title, which doesn't bode well for the graphics. Right, here's the unit. Ah. And the controller's even on a really long wire, so you can use it to hang yourself or something. Here's an original PlayStation 1, for size comparison purposes. Oh, it's like it's little mutant child. Beautiful. Right, let's open it up. Pressing the button marked open, presumably. Oh, there's a little less than earth shattering. Just releases a catch. Ah, uh, that doesn't look too great. Well, the on button lives inside it. Oh, God! Fucking hell, it's Beethoven's own for pain. Shut up, volume. Oh, that's better. Take good grief. Like Satan's ringtone. Right, let's see what we've got. Oh, dear. And a quick look at the screen tells us, as any visitor to Poundland, Dollar Tree, or Yen World, or whatever your local emporium of crap is, this has just got the same guts in it as every other crappy handheld game you can buy for bugger all. Oh well. Just a matter of interest. Let's pick one out. What's this? I don't know what the hell's supposed to be going on there. That'll do nicely. Start. Uh, yeah. Oh Christ. Right, what's happening? Uh, ah, this must be Frogalog. Right, do you go on the blank bits? Yes, and don't get hit by the dark bits. Well, oh, I've exploded. Frogs are always doing that. Well, I'm pretty much sick of that already. Where's reset? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, Christ, no! No, no! Bloody hell. I haven't noticed the realistic sound effects yet, incidentally. Go on, let's pick up the version of Tetris, then. That's it, isn't it? Start. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Let's hope this is one of the decent versions of Tetris, and not one of those ones with funny shaped blocks. And that sort of little flashing block that goes to other blocks for only half the time. Yeah, that's Tetris. Well, I think we can successfully say goodbye to that. Marvellous. Well, overall, I give it 7 out of 10, which is the least you can give a game before the company pulls their advertising. Look out, Dr. Ashen's doing his thing to camera again. Now, I just have to tell you this anecdote, which I absolutely swear is true. When I went in and bought this piece of shite, the mad old crone behind the counter said to me, just after I paid for it, so it wasn't some sort of weird salesman talk, she said to me, my son got one of these for Christmas, and do you know what? He's played on it more than his Xbox. That's right. Apparently her son had played on this piece of shit more than his Xbox. 
Well, I think from that we can assume that his son has only got two games for his Xbox, and they're both Fight Club. <laughs>